Hi, welcome back. I'm Murshid Hassan Basri, and in this video, I will explain the other aspect of quality product or process. It is necessary for a process to be statistically in control, or we call it as a stable process, but it is not enough. We can find many examples that a stable process is still far from the target or the customer expectations. For this reason, we need to discuss about the process capability. Capability is defined as the ability of a process to meet the design specifications. The essence of this ability is how far process variations compare to the specification range. Just to remind that we have two range of limits. That is a control limit and specification limit. Control limit indicated by UCL and LCL which is calculated using formula according to the type of control chart used. While specification limit include USL and LSL is defined by the customer or process or product designer. Be careful that you cannot use both limit interchangeably. Process capability becomes our concern when we compare both limits. Yeah? Theoretically, process variations indicated by sigma or standard deviations must be less than range of the specifications. This comparison is then stated as a capability index or CP. CP equal to USL minus LSL divided by six sigma. With this formula, a process is capable if the capability index should be higher than one. However, Standard industry use 1.33 as the minimum capability index. Okay, I will explain about the uh, capability process, process capability. So let's assume that we have a, a voice of customer here and we have a voice of process here. In voice of customer, we have a specification limit. And then for voice of process, we have a, a control limit control limit so we have a USL LSL and then we have a UCL and LCL process capability means we compare variations of process to the voice of customer so for example yeah so we divide voice of customer is USL minus LSL actually it is a range of the specification limit but then we compare with six sigma of the process so sigma is coming from this one so this is what we call as a cp so the good cp process is capable if cp is theoretically is bigger than one but industry use not one but 1.33 but this is only for the range actually we want to have uh, locations for example so we have this, uh, this is a LSL and USL. Perhaps we have the very low variations, very small variations, but not in the center. So in this case, actually, we need to compare, yeah? Where is, we need to find where is the locations of the uh, process. So then we need the second capability index that is a CPK that is the minimum of uh, X bar minus uh, LSL divided by 3 Sigma or USL minus minus uh, X bar divided by 3 Sigma so whenever the minimum so we take as the CPK and if the CPK is bigger than 1.33 that means the process is capable so actually that is the conclusions of the process capable capable process so we have a cp and cpk is higher than 1.33 thank you another way to express capability is using sigma capability six sigma method basically provides sigma capability to show the performance level of a process the highest level is six sigma and the lowest is zero. Industry standard is around three to four sigma level. World class level is five to six sigma level. Then how to get this sigma capability? 
The best way to calculate the sigma capability is using software like Minitab. Okay, I want to show you how to calculate sigma capability. So let's assume we discuss, we evaluate the process of waiting time. So the first thing first, you need to collect data. So we got data is about, for example, 20, uh, 30, uh, 30 data. And the data uh, average is about 50 minutes. And then the standard deviation is 5 minutes. If we plot the distributions, then we have distribution like this. Okay, so this is uh, 50 minutes and then sigma 5 minutes. According to the standard, the waiting time should not more than 60 minutes. So this is our specifications. So calculating sigma capability is we try to identify, we try to estimate what is the defect probability. So how to calculate this? First, you need to calculate, uh, calculate Z value. So Z value is a, according to the formula is X, X minus X bar divided by sigma. In this case, the, our, uh, our X is a 60. Uh, our X bar is 50 and divided by five. So we got two our sigma. So using Excel, so actually you can estimate what is the area under, uh, at the left of the Z value equal to two. So please use the Excel formula. So you can use the norm as this, and then put the Z value. So that is a two. So you will get uh, 2.28%. Uh, yeah, you can check it later, yeah? Okay, then, based on this, the next step is, so, we need to calculate a DPMO. DPMO is a percentage multiplied by 1 million. So then, we got 22,800 defect per million opportunities. Later, this DPMO then put into the Sigma calculator. Yeah, so you you can download from the internet. So just put the DPMO, yeah, this number, put in the Sigma calculator. Then we got the uh, Sigma level, Sigma capability is uh, three point five Sigma. So that is how we calculate Sigma capability. So in this case, in range of 6 to 0, actually we are at the industry standard. So hopefully, these explanations will help you to calculate the sigma capability. Thank you. That is the end of this video. Hope you can understand the philosophy and can calculate capability index and sigma capability. As a comprehensive understanding, we can say that a quality process is the one that is stable or in control and capable. Thank you.